What's good, everyone? Welcome back. We're in FL Studio 20, and today I'm going to be going more in depth in plug melodies. First off, before we start, I'm going to get a BPM, probably high 150s, 157. And we're going to start with Purity, very common plug plugin. Usually, I like to go for the Rhodes. Let's go into the piano roll and start a chord progression. Since we're going more in depth, this isn't going to be just a simple two chord chord progression. We're going to have more complex melodies in between and chord structures. So let's get into it. I'm going to start with a root note of C. And let's build out a minor triad chord. Drag it out. Then right here, I want to hear it one semitone up. So let's build out a minor chord from there. Well, as you can see, that doesn't sound completely correct. So I'm going to change this into a major chord. And to give it some more balance, I'm going to repeat the chord. And what I'm doing here is raising the leading tone up to the next note in the scale. So now it sounds like we're climbing up in the chord progression. And the next note I want to hear is higher up. Right there. So let's build out a minor chord from there. Except move it over. And then here, after we hit this high chord, I want to bring it back down to resolve itself. Back to the original C minor chord that we started with. I actually like that pause right there. And then similar to what we did over here, I'm going to raise the leading tone up one note in the scale. And add more pauses and breaks in the chord progression. Now we have our chord progression, mainly minor chords, triads, with a major here. And we also use the technique of raising the leading note up one note in the scale of the song. So let's put that into the playlist and add a new instrument from Purity. Now I'm going to go with an ARP and put the ARP on the leading tone of the chord. So what I'm doing here is putting the ARP on the leading tone of the chords. For the chord structure here, we have the leading tone G and C. And for the ARP, they are on the G and the C. Then the notes here are the second notes in the chord. And what I mean is when you go back to the chords, you see the second note, F and D sharp for those chords. So I put the ARP there. And then right here, we're just leading it back up. So I'm going to put that into a new pattern and put it into the playlist. And let's grab a new instrument. 
and again the leading tone G So similar to the ARP, I followed the leading notes of the chords for the bell, which are G, A sharp, C, and G right here, the top of the chord, the leading tone. Then here I just went up a little bit extra in the scale. And then here I dropped it down to the root note for a lower tone. We're gonna pick that up an octave. And put that into a new pattern and into the playlist let's add a new instrument i'm gonna grab a lead synth for this go into gm normal and get detuned square this is sometimes found in plug beats so back to the chords and again we're going to be following that leading tone of g Take it up into the A sharp. Then I'm going to leave it and then bring it up to the C, then down to the G. And now lastly, I'm going to add one more instrument from Purity. Since we already have a lot of melodies taking space, I'm not going to go crazy with it. I'm going to get a sitar. For this melody, I'm going to go a different route. Instead of going on the leading tone, I'm going to take it to the root note. Sort of like the 808 with the sitar. So we have the root note of the first chord, which is C. And then in the second half, F. And then here, I'm going to the leading tone of the last chord. And lastly, let's put that into a new pattern and put it into the playlist. Let's hear what we have all together now. Remember, we started out with the chords. minor going into major up the leading tone one note in the scale we had our arp remember this was following the leading tones and then it went down to the second note in the chord we had our bell which also followed the leading tones the lead following the leading tones and then lastly the sitar which followed the root note of the chord so that was the making of a more in-depth plug melody. In the next video, I'm going to be going into more detail about plug drums. So I hope I see you there. Thank you all for watching.